If you would like to push out documents to your students, you have several ways to do that. The first two I'm gonna talk about um, is Outlook. You just remember that students do have email and you can send those attachments um, out to your students. They do have Outlook in their Office 365 account, so you can send those files as attachments. The second tool that I'm gonna talk about inside Office 365 is Yammer. So um, if you wanna push out files and things like that, you can do that in Yammer. It is Office 365's social media tool. It is very easy to use, so when you click on this tile here, it'll take you straight to the social media side. And again, this is only within our network. Okay, and you can like and unlike. You can reply to that person here. But one thing, this is how I would use it as a teacher. I would create a new group, and I did right here. But to start a new group, you would click here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and create a sample group. When you add people here, either staff or, or students, they already have to have joined Yammer in order for them to pop up here. So if I click on Ray, then he's gonna pop up because he's already joined Yammer. Okay, I'm gonna now search for a student. Okay, and she, even though she has activated her Office 365 account, I'm not going to see her in Yammer because she has not joined Yammer, okay? The student has to join Yammer in order for you to see them when you're creating this group and adding them to a group, okay? So the person has to have already joined Yammer in order to get added to a group. After you add the students or whoever it is that you want to be a part of this group, you can make this either public or private. Public, that means anyone within the Calum ISD Office 365 network can see it, okay? And private means only approved members. So you as a teacher, you know, you only have certain students that you want to be in this group. This is when you would make this private. And then you click on create group. So this is your group here. Your groups are listed here on the side. And if I want to share something, okay, I can say what it is. I can click on this attachment. I can upload. I'm just looking for any. And then I can post that. So the students in my group will be able to read my message and download, grab my file. Okay, this is Yammer. Pretty simple, pretty easy to use. And it's not another tool that students already have to log into. So you already have majority of your students in Office 365. Get them to join Yammer, create a group, and you can push out all those files to them. When a student is logged into their Office 365 account, they will need to click on the Yammer tile in order to join Yammer. It might take it a little bit to show up. You might see a white screen, you may not. When a student comes to this screen, what they can do is put in their teacher's names or other students. So if I wanna go ahead and put in a teacher name, I'm gonna type in their email, and I need to make sure that it's calum.org. For staff, teachers and staff, it would be calum.org. If it's a fellow student that she would like to follow, then she would put in their student ID and leave it at this extension here. Okay, once they're done, click here. Students can also skip this part and just click the X here. Okay, so now this student has joined Yammer. So now what the teacher needs to do in order to add this student to the group, go to the group name here, add or invite coworkers, but this also includes students. Type in the student name. 
and when that student's name pops up, just click Add to Group. Tells you that the student has been added to the group. Go ahead and keep adding your students. When you click on Members, it will tell you who the members are of your group, and you can click on the Settings gear and remove a member from the group. Okay, so all members of this group will see all of my posts and any files that I place here. So let's go back to the student page and it notifies the student that they have been added to a group. So when I refresh, I will see my class name here. I can click on that and then I can see everything that my teacher has posted.